Mm -hmm. Well, fighting your way out of poverty is a common story, but our next story is about physically fighting your way out. Odette Keeley with New America Media joins me now to talk about the Filipino people's champ, Manny Pacquiao, who is winning more than boxing competitions. Welcome, Odette. Uh, as you know, we don't usually talk about boxing <laughs> on this program, so this must be a very special and a very unique individual. So first of all, tell me what makes him different from a boxer. <laughs> Absolutely, Balva. As you said, he's winning the hearts and minds of not only Filipinos in the store in the video clips we're going to see later on when we covered this in a Bay Area mm -hmm. Filipino restaurant. It was a wildly diverse crowd, wildly engaged crowd. You had an African entrepreneur, Indonesian high tech worker, and even Latinos are getting into his corner, which is really amazing. I do want to say one thing, Balva, and what we discovered, the reason why I'm here talking about this story here on your show and why uh, our ethnic media partners are New America Media, the mainstream media has been all over from ESPN to Time Magazine is because this has gone beyond the ring. This mm -hmm. is, is now round 13, as we say. This is now not just a sports story, but even beyond Manny Pacquiao, it's become a, a story of communities that are galvanizing around their heroes. Mm -hmm. And, you know, even in the Spanish language press, members of our network, you have Impermedia, which is publisher of some of the biggest Spanish language networks uh, and newspapers in the country. They had a dedicated interactive website. They had running blogs. You know, they were talking about this fight. You had the Puerto Rican newspaper, Primera Aura, talking about the support of the Puerto Ricans and, of course, the inevitable disappointment at his defeat. And, and now let's go to this match, this firepower match. Mm -hmm. Filipino fighter, legend Manny Pacquiao defeating Puerto Rican Miguel Cotto and taking away his WBO welterweight crown. What makes this so special, Belva? It's a history making. Manny Pacquiao has put himself in the boxing history books by becoming the first ever professional fighter to win seven titles, seven world titles in seven different weight classes. And it's just this getting up there to the world boxing stage, Las Vegas being the fighting capital of the world, that has made him a demigod to, <laughs> to the Filipinos looking up to him and is a blazing symbol of hope. And you saw that also with, with the Latino fighters, many of them he fought. You know, he defeated Oscar De La Hoya just last December, a celebrity boxer, put him into retirement, as many have said. He just defeated the UK champion, Ricky Hatton. So these victories have cemented his stature as the world's uh, best boxer pound for pound. Well, there are other say. things that also have made people uh, really rush to his side and become his fans. But let's talk about the night that he, his last fight. It was happened in Las Vegas, uh, as these things do. And yeah, But you were here at a local place at where a local place. Uh, Filipino community gathers. Tell me about, be, about being there. For that. Filipino and Philippine media flocked to Las Vegas. You had ABS, CBN News, Philippine News sending their crew, Phil M. Star, mm -hmm. based in San Francisco, sent their crew. But it w it's a very curious and very strong dynamic. It's the second time I've covered it in a local Filipino restaurant. Well, well let's, let's, let's go to that <laughs> night. Let's go that to actually that relive that yeah, a little bit. Uh, so in some... this match, you can see just the crowd. It's almost like a communal living room. You know, it's like watching a game with your friends and family. Every jab and punch of, of Mani Pacquiao, because overwhelmingly they were for him, you can hear the crowd yell and, and you know, every time he gets hit, they win. Mm -hmm. The scene. And, and the roar of that crowd was deafening when, when referee Kenny Bayless had to stop the fight in the 12th round, 55 seconds into the 12th round, and just had to declare Manny Pacquiao the winner. You know, Puerto Rican uh, Miguel Cotto's face was bloody and swollen, but he gave just this very gentleman-like, sportsman-like hug to Manny Pacquiao, the winner. And um, we were able to speak with, as I, as I mentioned, a wildly diverse crowd, and they saw themselves in him. They saw themselves in this Filipino who had struggled from devastatingly poor background to just the highest heights, the pinnacle of wealth and success, and is going to continue that. Um, you had this, you know, as I mentioned, some mm -hmm. Latinos didn't feel that it was taking away from their Hispanic heritage to support him. So a Puerto Rican, African-American internet marketer said, you know, I'm torn. Cotto is Puerto Rican like me, but I just cannot help but admire Manny Pacquiao, this Filipino's incredible talent. So why, why is this story important here? Is it because of what? The, it has just shown how this Filipino fighter has crossed the boundaries. Um, we saw a glimpse of how his fans have become multi-ethnic and global. Um, you know, in the Philippines, the nation grinds to a halt. Zero crime happens. The rebels 
uh, declare a ceasefire with the military and every person in the nation is, is, is just glued to the TV screen. And, and that goes for the diaspora. Okay. So he's crossed those boundaries and the next big buzz is Manny Pacquiao and Mayweather. <laughs> um, and so it's, they say it's so saving the boxing sport. So there's a large, how large is the Filipino community here? Um, uh, w what we've said, uh, 33,000 just in Daly City alone, so uh, I know 50,000 more just in the San Francisco Bay Area. So is that large con in terms of a concentrated population? And that's why we thought it was very apt to cover it in Daly City this time, because it is the highest population of Filipinos of any mid-sized city in North America. It's Manila Town, USA. And he also does other things with his resources <laughs> and with the goodwill that he built up. Tell he's me a, a little bit about that. He's a multitasker right after this fight with Miguel Cotto. He went straight to the stage from the boxing ring to the concert stage. He, he has two platinum albums in the Philippines. Many have said he should stick to your day job, <laughs> Manny, but he's an actor. He has a sitcom. There are talks of a reality TV show here in the U.S. But And now uh, I've seen reports that he may run for Congress. And Didn't, it's Hasn't he also try. been helpful in sharing some of his wealth with folks back home? He's very generous. And that humility, you know, many have said it's such a huge bur burden, responsibility for one person to carry the weight of a whole nation on his shoulders, which he does, but he's embraced that with humility. The typhoon victims uh, you know, are looking forward to yet another round of aid from him mm -hmm. because this is what he did when he was training there. And as we know, three different typhoons ravaged the Well, Philippines. an unusual story. Good story on a night Thank when you, the Baba. budget's falling apart. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay.